Hey everybody, I'm here today to do a coffee review and taste test of this Maxwell House Original Roast Coffee. In this video, I will be reviewing the coffee and taste testing the coffee. Let's get right into the video. Now, first and foremost, I have been using this coffee for a while, so I've already used up probably more than half of the tin. However, every time that I have coffee in general, I end up having it with milk and sometimes I even use sugar and sometimes I even use flavored creamer. So with that being said, this will be pretty much the first time that I'm tasting the coffee completely, completely blank with nothing else inside of it, okay? So I brewed this coffee this morning. It's still pretty warm and I just put it in this container because it's easier for me to transport it along with the lid that I have here. So with that being said, let's get right into the video just because you know, usually I would drink it in a mug, but with the lid, it's easy for me to bring it around to wherever I'm filming for the day. So let's get right into the video. First and foremost, let's open this up. Now inside of here, like I said, as you can see, I've already used up pretty much more than half of it, but we'll give it a little, we'll give it a little, a little whiff. Now the amazing thing about this coffee is that even after using half of it, okay? I don't know how long ago I opened it, but like I said, I used up pretty much at least half of it. Even after using up half of it, I it just smells incredible. The aroma that it gives off is amazing. When I first opened up the tin, it smelled in, uh, astonishing, but it still smells incredible. I'm just gonna, I have my scooper right here. Even outside of the tin, that aroma is still good. I don't, I can't pick out what aroma it is inside of it, like what the hints are but it smells absolutely amazing. And just for the sake of full disclosure and understanding, the way I make coffee is that I use one of these scoops. So I don't know what this is, I just call it a coffee scoop. One of these scoops for every uh, cup of water that I put in my coffee machine. And I just use a regular uh, drip coffee maker, just a regular coffee maker. So as you can see, packaging is amazing. I like the fact that you get a nice tight seal. Oftentimes I end up picking it up like this, right? So I have a good grip on it, but you know, I like the fact that you have a nice tight seal on it. It keeps it nice and airtight. Um, on the package, I was reading here that it said to keep it uh, refrigerate after opening to help preserve the aroma. And I actually haven't done that and it still smells amazing. Um, I leave it in my cupboard, but I'm definitely going to refrigerate it from now on. Now that I read that, I had never read that before previously. Okay. So now we have the actual coffee. And like I said, it's just black coffee, no milk, nothing in it, no sugar. It's just plain old coffee. Okay. Let's just give it a scent. So the good thing about this coffee is that when I first brewed it, it had a strong scent that it filled up the whole room with a nice aromatic smell. But now it still has a strong scent, but it's sort of died down. I did make this coffee, like I said, a few hours ago, and it's still still pretty warm because of where I kept it prior to taking it out for the video. Um, however, um, the smell is there. It's not as strong, but it still smells incredible. It smells amazing. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go for a taste test. Now, like I said, I've never tasted this coffee or any coffee pretty much without milk or sugar or some combination of that. I usually don't have sugar, but sometimes I do, but I always put at least milk or creamer inside of it. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna drink it black now. We're gonna sort of get a taste test, okay? So I'm just gonna take a sip of it. So you know what's great about this coffee? even without any milk or sugar in it, it doesn't taste bitter. It still tastes like good coffee. I think after doing this, I'm gonna consider drinking this coffee just without anything in it. I mean, it's a healthier option. Um, yeah, I have to say, I mean, you know what? I'm really impressed. <sighs> I thought that drinking it without anything in it would, you know, um, cause me to it cause it to taste maybe a little bit bitter or a little bit hard on the mouth, but you know what? It tastes incredible. And you get more of the flavoring of the coffee. I like coffee with milk in it or creamer, but I get more of the flavoring of the actual coffee drinking it like this. So I think that I'm actually gonna change to drink it like this. That's I think that's what I'm gonna end up doing, to be honest with you. It's a healthier option. Um, and I was thinking about intermittent fasting and you can have black coffee as part of intermittent fasting because as far as I know, it doesn't affect the fast. Um, so definitely I'm going to continue drinking it like this. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to just save this and I'm going to have it later on as my second cup of coffee for the day. I'm going to warm it up later on. Uh, obviously, when I warm it up, I'm going to take the lid off and warm it up like this. But yeah, um, 
with that being said, that is my taste test and review of this Maxwell House Original Roast Coffee. Like I said, I like the tight seal. You can see I'm grabbing it. This is how I always grab it in the morning. Um, I like the tight seal, but it's totally awesome. Now, if you like this video, please drop a comment below because I want to know, do you want me to review other coffees? I'm a coffee fanatic. I love drinking coffee. I don't have too much of it, but I definitely have one to two cups a day and I like experimenting with different coffees. So if you want me to, if you want to see me do other coffee reviews, then just drop a comment below with what you want me to try out and I'll give it a shot. And that's it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.